Welcome to an Exosploit tutorial. Please help me by commenting and rating this video. Hey guys, sorry I didn't make a tutorial yesterday or the day before, I was a little busy. So today I'll make at least two. First I'll show you how to make your own custom icons. First I'll be using GIMP and then I'll be using Photoshop. So first open it up. Now this is a, uh, a 48 by 48 pixel uh, transparent image of uh, the GIMP icon here. That's it. So for the GIMP we're going to want to open a new and now this is going to be 128 by 128 pixels and in the advanced options we want this to be transparent that's all cool <coughs> now we're going to actually copy this so control C and then paste it here alright and uh, arrow down to the background I don't want to I don't want to anchor it just yet I want to open up my pencil and uh, have a scale about 7.5 there, and then we're gonna do a nice uh, blob right. Oops. So I guess we have to make a new layer. There. All right. There we go. All right. We can now uh, resize this. Hold the uh, control to keep it square. All right, and now we're gonna make a circle around the um, background. It's gonna be just a little smaller. It's easy to do this again. Eh, okay, good. And now we're gonna invert the selection. And then there, we're going to uh, take the brush again, and uh, we're going to make a sort of a reflection there. Now select white, about 30 opacity on the background, and actually we can uh, merge this down. And Alright, then we're gonna make a uh, another selection here. It's gonna be about that big. We're gonna fill it this time. Again, 30 opacity. And just one more thing we can do is uh, zoom in. We're gonna make another selection right here. I guess I'll just have it like that. Alright, and we'll fill that with white. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you can spice it up a little bit. I'm just going to try to keep it simple here. And save. Save as. We want to save it as a PNG. Save it on the desktop. And so good there. Alright, so we have our GIMP image. Now we're going to uh, edit this in Photoshop. It's going to look a little more professional when we're done. Photoshop. Just wanted to show it could be done in GIMP as well. 128 by 128. Don't forget transparent. Alright, so same thing here. We're going to make a dot. This one's about 100 here. So just going to place it right in the center. 
Actually, I wanted that to be black. Okay. Now we're going to uh, blend. Okay, this will be about 150. Size will be 9. Soften will be 5. This will be 55 degrees. This will be 45 degrees. These will both be set to hard light. And I think we about have that. Oh uh, yeah, we're also going to do a outer glow. Set to black. Alright. Now we can drag our image on. Sometimes if you can't drag your image, you have to go image mode and select this. Alright, so control T, hold shift. Just place it right in the center. And go to blend options here. We're going to do the same settings to it as we did to the black circle. Okay, so the settings in here. Now we're going to hold control and click the circle. And then we're going to go select, modify, contract by three pixels. And alright, so now we're going to get our gradient tool. And setting up the gradient, it's going to be 70, 70 here, and this one's zero. Now we're going to hold shift. Now actually, these can be uh, merged. Yeah, alright, we're going to merge this one down. So one layer, and we're going to create a new layer on top. Hold shift. So that's about good. And create a there, and fill this with the gradient tool. Hold shift. There, and finally, do one little, there, I'm going to uh, control T, mess around with that a little bit, zoom in a bit, try to get this right out here, make it a little smaller, there, apply, and set the opacity down a little bit, maybe 90. Save as PNG, what you call it, um, GIMP, PS. So good. Okay, so now we have our two icons, but we gotta uh, convert them. So we can go into this online converter called con, uh, converticon.com. So we can browse. And we're going to select, you have to do it one at a time. So I'll do the GIMP first. Click convert. Click here to download. Save. It might take a second, or even a few seconds to uh, allow you, because it's probably still converting it. There we go. And I'm going to do the other one too. Alright, so we have the two icons here. Now to use them, put them in a folder wherever you're going to uh, want them to be. And now you can select the program you want or just uh, the shortcut if you want to do the shortcut. But you can go into your program files and do it from there. And uh, change icon there you have it your own
own custom icon. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please comment and rate it. And if you want to see more tutorials, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Links and additional information will be located in the video description.